doing some small river hopping again today. Unfortunately, I filmed seven videos at the end of summer and due to my own stupidity, five of them got corrupted. There we go. Fishing small rivers today. First fish of the day. Just drifting a little tube jig, bopping it along as if it's a crayfish. He is taking drag. Whoa, this is the first cast too, not bad. Not bad, not bad. As my colleague would say, give you one guess as to who he is. Come here, Dangus. They're so strong, even the small ones. All right, up we go, up, up. Okay, that was trouble getting him up the uh, cliff, but I'll just edit that part out. He had, I had to drag him up a 10 foot cliff. There he is, first cast at the new hole. Just bebopping a little tube jig, just like before. Cool. 100% catch and release day. We're just fishing these bass for fun, me and my friend Don. Man, I'll tell you, even these small, small mouth are so hard fighting. You got a reason for their reputation as the most, woo, we got an acrobat, as their most, um, uh, what do you call it? Tough fight in freshwater fish in the world. Come here, Dangus. Come here. Well, he's not tiny, at least. It's definitely a legal one. Come here, Dangus. There he is. Cool. Beautiful. Alrighty, moving my way down the river. I'm just uh, working a, a bitty tube, eighth ounce watermelon red fleck bitty tube. At least I think that's what it is. Got another smallie on here. Another smallie. If we were in a competition, this fish would be the downhill side of our limit of five, obviously. That's a fat girl. Not very long, but fat. Look at the girth, man. There we go. This feels like a smaller guy. Just on that bitsy tube again. Just drift it along. Maybe bop it a little bit. Just like it's a crayfish. Yeah, he's smaller, but he might still be legal. Oh yeah, he's a legal one. A little bit smaller. Give myself some line there. You see the bitsy tube hanging out of his mouth. So the first two bass were caught on a, a typical three and a half inch tube, eighth ounce. And these final three, assuming I land this one, were um, on a little bitsy tube, eighth ounce. Much smaller tube. Mimics a baby crayfish just drifting along. And they love to gorge on crayfish in summer. This is just a little guy. I, he's not even a legal one. There we go. I heard number number six, but one was a dink, so this one would be my hypothetical limit, assuming I get them in. Didn't really say yet, but I'm running six pound mono. I'm switching between my BPS Extreme and this uh, qualifier rod, six six. Medium power, fast action. This fish is really dogging it, man. I'll tell you what, I'm just trying to back him up into the shore slowly because he's pretty strong. No, no jumping, please. When they jump, they often spit the hook. I really haven't seen him at all. No. Ooh, he's a nice one, I think. Best one of the day, I think. Looks that way. Eh, maybe he's not that nice, but he still might be the best one of the day. Yeah, he's no 18, but he is the best one of the day, I think. 
I don't even know why I walked them back. I'm just gonna do this anyway. Cool. Got them. That's my hypothetical limit right there. 16 inch maybe at best. Alright, back to this pool. Got another one on the bitsy tube. He's a fighter, man. <laughs> Look at him down. I don't know if you can see him flashing down there, but man, these things just go nuts when you hook them. All right, here's the hard part. Up, up, up we go. There we go. Another typical small bass like the others today, but they're all, all but that one have definitely been legal though, which is cool. I just had a little guy similar to this one jump and spit it. <laughs> Ferocious jump, man. No, not in the, not in the pipe. Shoot, that pipe's gonna cut my line. It's all rusty. <laughs> got lucky, got him out. Another little guy. All right, back to the spot where I landed the first fish of the trip. It's a little bank run right here. Hopefully I can flip them up this time. The first one I had trouble with because all this golden rod here got stuck in it. So I had to get down there and get them out. Get them out of the rhubarb. All right, here comes the hard part. Up we go. Woo! <laughs> Joy ride of your life, eh, boy? 